Hi and welcome to All About the Philippines. Now, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about what does a pleasing personality mean. So in the Philippines, you'll uh, always see in ads for positions vacant for various types of jobs, they always have in there as a requirement with pleasing personality, of course, amongst other uh, things that they will need to get that job. Now, it seems to be a pretty high priority in the Philippines. And we'll find out what it actually means. I've always thought, uh, as a probably a naive foreigner, that it actually meant they were looking for an attractive woman. And I guess, in essence, it probably does a little bit. But it does apply to men, as you can see where it says they're male or female. So it's not just for women, but I think they're referring to different things about a person that makes them not just attractive, but pleasant to actually be around. So I thought we'd find out from the experts in the Philippines as to what a pleasing personality actually means, what they're looking for in regards to that. So... If you want, you're like me and you're not really sure and you want to find out, then stay tuned. So we've gone to the experts in the Philippines on this site here on the website, which I'll put a link below, Business Coach Inc. Now, to find out what their interpretation of a pleasing personality at work is so this is the sort of things that they're looking for when they're hiring people and you see that in the ads all the time saying uh, pleasing personality is a must basically now if you've ever been in the Philippines you'll sort of notice that when you go into like the big malls and that the, the people are always smiling and and they're always greeting you and I'm wondering if that's a real natural thing for them or it's because they're at work and they've got to have that pleasing personality. Now, as I said previously, I thought uh, pleasing personality meant you had to be a good looking person, but it goes a bit beyond that. So what they're looking for in this article, anyway, it's saying that the things that they're looking for by reputable companies when they're looking for a pleasing personality is things like good business etiquette so having good business etiquette means knowing and practicing the right manners at the right time and occasion they're saying that since that's in a professional context what is proper in informal settings may be offensive in a business gathering so basically they're telling you you know you've got to have good manners at work which hey we've all got to have so that's that's fair enough then we come down to the next point, which is communicates properly. So the person they have, they want them to be a good communicator. An employee with a pleasing personality is one who can deliver his or her thoughts clearly while, while observing, respecting, and uh, boundaries. Most of the managers I've met told me they were, what they want in their relationship with their employees on a level that lets them talk to each other about few personal matters, how they feel about the project and other matters, but still not reaching that too personal level. So they're wanting to keep it fairly professional without getting too personal with each other. An employee with a pleasing personality has the courage to speak comfortably with the boss, but also observes the limits. Now, I think that also applies I mean, yeah, at here where I work. That sort of also applies here. So nothing surprising about that. The next point is contributes to solutions. So a manager has enough problems to have another employees judging their actions or adding to their problems. An employee with a pleasing personality is one who contributes to solutions for the company rather than complaining about is what what is unfair so they really don't want someone who's whinging about what's going on they want them to be proactive and say well if you've got a problem come up with a solution and we'll listen to it another one that seems fairly reasonable request for an employee okay and then the next point they've got is well groomed 
So, I guess um, so they're talking about what they say here is personality is not just about what you do, it's also how you look. An employee with a pleasing personality is someone who dresses properly with their teeth brushed, clothes ironed, and body or odor eradicated. So they don't want anyone coming in there stinky, they want them to you know, look nice and smell good. What does being well groomed have to do with a pleasing personality, they ask. This is because it reflects how responsible and clean the person is. Being well groomed means that the person always wants to be presentable around anyone he or she meets. Aside from being bathed every day, he or she knows the proper attire to complement his or her body type and colour. So being dressed appropriately is very important as well. Which I think these points here in the, in the groom section applies anywhere pr pretty much in the world. I think, well, at least where I live anyway. So it's not just unique to the Philippines. All those points so far are very similar to what we would expect here for, for, for the people here when they're looking for employment. And the last one towards the bottom of the page there, it says cheerful. So finally, an employee with a pleasing personality is one who keeps the fun alive in the office, smiling in the face of stress and keeps going at it. Well, yes, I mean, it's not always easy to, I guess, uh, keep smiling when you're pretty well stressed out, but point taken. Doing better every single day at work, so, you know, trying to do your best is what they're saying. He or she is someone who does not take problems from home to the office. So keep your professional life and your personal life, life separate, which I think is also a fair request, and does not take office problems personally. Welcoming new employees warmly and accommodating co-workers properly are part of his or her attributes. Individuals with pleasing personality are those who will always remain in the office, even if the company has to lay off a few workers they easily become the office favorites because of this trait well, there you go if you want to get ahead in the philippines that's what you got to do um and that is because it goes a long way who wants to deal with a grumpy receptionist or sad salesman no one does they say so that's why a smile will always do big for the company and then right at the very bottom, I don't know if you can see that, guys. Let me see if we can just drop this down a little bit. hope you can read this, but anyway, if not, that's why I'm reading it out in case you can't. Uh, it says, looks may be a plus factor. So that's what I always interpreted pleasing personality as. If, if, if we were to say, you know, here in Australia that, you know, a, a prerequisite for a job is that you've got to look good then you know you, you'd be uh, in a lot of trouble here in Australia with the discrimination laws so I guess what they say here is looks may be a plus factor but it's not the main component of, of what pleasing personality means for most companies in the business world so I'm learning something here myself in essence it is what makes a person likable not only by customers, but also by the people within the company. A pleasing personality is like grease that eases the friction of everyday work, and that is why often a standard requirement. So they want someone who's going to fit in nicely, who takes pride in their appearance, and you know is uh, easy going at work and will contribute to the business. So I think overall that's pretty fair. It's just. A lot of different things parceled up into the one phrase of pleasing personality. So I think it's actually pretty fair and uh, it used to amuse me when I used to see that because I, I did think it was like a code for saying I want we want someone who's attractive. But clearly not. It goes far more than that. I'm sure the attractiveness plays a part in this uh, as it says down the bottom there. But overall it's much more broad than that so anyway guys hope you've learned something from this as well if you had other interpretations of what a pleasing personality meant leave your comments below i'd like to hear them don't forget to 
subscribe if you haven't already and turn on the notification bell and if you'd like to share the video around with those who might enjoy it and through all your networks that'd be great thanks guys for watching take care and bye for now